Welcome to the shooting show. This week we return to the beginning of the game season at Burton Agnes in East Yorkshire. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. So us at uh, Burton Agnes State for the second shoot we've done this uh, this year. Uh, the guys are just having breakfast now, all set to go. We'll just wait for the keeper to come to draw pegs. <laughs> 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 Keep it still then. <laughs> don't forget your numbers because I won't remember. Them. Well, like last. 50th birthday yesterday, so. Yeah, you don't look a day over 60. Well, after last night's uh, celebrations, I'm not feeling too good, but there we are, Stuart. And the weather? Uh, weather's good for today, so yeah, it's all uh, looking like uh, it's all set for a good day today. How's it going, yeah, Rob? Really Having yeah. a good day? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lads, don't be shy. He's going well, man. Welcome to the shooting show. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, fair drive now, just lined out. There's uh, Rob there in the uh, paddock. Uh, <coughs> got the rest of the guys are lined out in front of this wood. They're going to drive this wood through, bring it onto us this way. Still no wind and sun's coming out now, so it's not uh, it's not all in our favour. But uh, hopefully we'll still get uh, a few birds over us. But it's been good fun and a good laugh so far. Yeah, other than that, we still had a really good day. Uh, good crack with all the boys. Everyone's enjoying it and lovely countryside. Some good bird shot. Yeah, what birds we've had, you know, we've had over us have been uh, good birds and there's been some good shots uh, from the guys. Like, you know, very good. Yeah, that was a fair drive of the day. Uh, a lot more birds come out there. There's still no wind, so they're not flying the best that they could do. But uh, there's still some challenging birds. All the guys got some good showing, uh, except for Rob there, he was out of it a little bit in the paddock. But uh, no, best drive of the day so far. Yeah, this is the uh, quick drive just before dinner. So, <clears throat> last drive was pretty good. Uh, that was fair when it walked up through a wood. So, I'm hoping this is going to be the same.
It's uh, been another good day at Burton Agnes, uh, 125 birds. Uh, got the bag okay, it's been a steady day all day really. A bit quiet to start with, but uh, so we made the bag. Yeah. Everybody's enjoyed it, some good sporting shots. Uh, yeah, very pleased. Yeah, yeah used the yeah. uh, Ely Zenith's 32 gram fives. Yeah. Uh, I always use them for game shooting. Yeah. AYA again, number four, the usual game gun that I use. Yeah, shot really well, good cartridge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does the business. Pleased with your shooting all the way or? Uh, didn't start off very well, but uh, got better as the day progressed. Yeah. Uh, in the end, yeah, very pleased really. Yeah, and the last drive, I think you sort of blow in the horn because it was just a, what, we only needed a little bit to sort of get the bag up. Yeah, it was a thought to inch the bag like so. Yeah, yeah. And we yeah. may have a slightly different shot from the, the drone as well. Yeah. We'll see how that comes out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pub for a pint then. Pub for a pint. Some excellent low ground game shooting in East Yorkshire. And now it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. It looks like the government has listened to shooters on the Offensive Weapons Bill. When the bill returns to the House of Commons this week, it's expected to contain an amendment that removes the ban on high-calibre rifles. This follows months of campaigning by shooting organisations. Basque and Countryside Alliance were quick to welcome the decision and to stress that the ban should never have been put forward in the first place. Firearms licensing is in chaos, that's what the Countryside Alliance has declared and says the government needs to focus on. Tim Bonner, the Alliance's chief executive, said a postcode lottery of licensing had emerged in the UK. He said those applying for firearms licences are treated in an entirely different way depending on the GP they are registered with and which police force area they live in. This is simply not acceptable. The ISSF presidency saga rumbles on. Now, candidate Luciano Rossi says he's had death threats made against him. Rossi is a controversial candidate. He was suspended from the ISSF for running a high-profile campaign against the decision to drop Double Trap from the Olympics. He's running against the preferred candidate, Vladimir Lissin, as well as Boutros Jalk of Lebanon. A decision will be made on Friday. And finally, with five months to go until the Northern Shooting Show, they've announced a major exhibitor. Ruag will take a significant presence at the show and bring their brands including Parazzi, Anschutz, RWS, Bergara and several new product lines. Adult early bird tickets to the show are on sale now, and kids go free when accompanied by an adult. Get tickets now at northernshootingshow.co.uk. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.